I'm going to do a little work on my Xmark Laser Z seat. Same seat you might find on a lot of riding mowers or small tractors. I pulled the seat off of this hinge assembly. It had a strap of some sort tied to it to keep it from sliding back too far because the latch mechanism is broke. And it's not a beautiful seat, but it doesn't have any rips or tears in it. Uh, once they start getting holes in them, then you get water in there, and when you sit on it, your butt gets wet. That makes them kind of no good. But this one, I think, is probably worth trying to repair, because a new one is hundreds of dollars. You can see here where the frame is all cracked. It's been welded and cracked again on both sides. That's from leaning back with lots of pressure over and over again, or rocking back and forth over bumps, and it just stresses it out and busts it right there. So I'm going to see if I can patch and weld that back up. First I'm going to take off all the upholstery. And I don't know if this latch is repairable or not. I don't know if there's anything I can do about these slides. If I can fix them or if I'm going to have to replace the slides. We'll see. Of course the fasteners that are in the plywood, the insert in the plywood is all rusted to the bolt. And the plywood is soft and rotted and just tears out from the plywood. Now we can see where the seat pan is cracked. I might as well pull the armrests off too. Same story. The fasteners spinning around inside the plywood. There might be some kind of a spring in there. Anyway, I'm going to take the covers off of these. There's two metal brackets with some webbing strung between the two of them. Because of its springiness. They appear to be riveted to this board right here. I'm going to try to take the tracks off. The slides don't look like they're repairable. This one's missing a chunk right here. They don't really slide. They're all jammed up. There might be ball bearings missing out from this stuff. I'm going to look online and see if I can figure out where to get some other ones. And I'm going to take a little time now to grind all of this uh, broken up metal on the seat here.
get it all grinded up, figure out how I'm going to weld a, a repair to that. Start grinding this all up so I can see where it's cracked, grind off the old welds and get ready to, to weld a patch on here. So I've done a little bit of grinding on the back of the seat, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take off this arm bracket. So I have a little bit more grinding to do. I'm kind of just looking over what options I might have to span that gap with something. I'm going to use this piece of flat bar. I'm going to cut a shape to fit in there like that. I tested out whether or not the pieces of the seat fit in there and so forth. That's what I'm going to do. Alright, cleaned it up a little bit more. Ready to weld that. And I'm going to use my little ProMig 135 wire feed welder and I'm just going to use some flux core uh, wire. some shade tree mechanic welds for you. Gonna do this last pass across the top edge right there the best I can. I think that's gonna hold it though. Okay, well it's not pretty, but I think that's a great repair. It might break somewhere, but it'll never break there again. Next I think I'll do a little prep and paint.
All right, let's see what I have for paint here. Gloss black Rust-Oleum. It's a good choice. Well, I brushed a coat of this shiny black paint on here and now I'll have to give it a day to dry. I've done all I can to try to get these slides to work. I got this one slide to work even though the lever is broken. But this other side is missing ball bearings and stuff. It just it can't be fixed. So I had to order some new ones and they weren't cheap either. I think I paid 50 bucks. They'll be here in the mail in a couple days. The original wood from the seat had uh, some corrugated nails connecting these two pieces together. And here's the hole where the, the mounting bolt went. I made up some new pieces. And I don't have those corrugated nails, so what I did is I just made up some wood blocks to put it together with some uh, waterproof glue. Not really structural, just is something to staple the um, fabric to. I think that'll work well. made these studs for the seat base just out of stuff I had on hand.
because I can see these original ones were kind of bent over at the end of the armrest. I made the new ones out of three quarter. Great wood sealer dries in 15 minutes. Just got to get something on there to seal up the wood. could put these covers back on right now, staple them on there and be done with the job, but I ordered $10 worth of marine grade vinyl and I'm going to see about making some new covers. Well, I cut all the stitches out of this stuff with this little razor knife here so I can lay these out and make some patterns. And I'm going to cut and sew together a new cover. And I'm going to use this black marine vinyl. It's nice and soft and flexible. Uh, I got this on eBay for about six bucks a yard. I can't give you any detailed upholstery instructions because that's just not my expertise. But I can tell you that I'm going to use my home sewing machine and I'm going to use uh, this th special thread and needle and I'll leave a link in the description on where you can get the thread and needle that I use and I've used it to sew some canvas like on this boat and I've used it uh, to do a number of projects and I, it's just totally doable on a home machine to do some simple projects. I set the length of the stitch on maximum, no zigzag, and I have my tension on three, but that's a little bit variable depending on how big my spool is flopping around up here. And uh, I staple everything together first before I try and sew it. Then I sew the stitch, I go back and pull the staples out. Well, I got the bottom piece sewn, one st stitch line down each side. Now the original one had an exposed hem line all the way down. The chance of me getting a perfectly straight, nice looking hem line there are about zero. But I'm just going to, with this one stitch, just give it a test fit. Well, I'll have to work it on there a little more straight, but... Anyway, I tuck those hems in just right, I can get it to look okay.
Ship Dream lost power while docking in the Caribbean. The outage caused some toilets. Okay, the big work is done. Got our new slides on here. That's nice. Bottom cushion on. Put the arms back on. Finish assembling this and stick it on the mower. I like to include a little anti-seize wherever I can. Maybe in 10 years I have to take this apart again. It won't be all rusted together. Okay, well that's not bad. Without the exposed hem line right here, it looks a little bit like an office chair, but it's, I think, pretty good. Well, it looks really good, Mike. I got it stood all the way up and I got the armrest up high. They're adjustable. Yeah, but that's what I need. It fits. Oh, it's more comfortable for me. A lot better. It never was comfortable for me. <laughs> yeah, I know what you want. They ain't happen. I know what you want. Ready? Let's go, Pan. Bye.